All right, this is Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 25, where we are going to be approximating division problems. And we're going to use this as a stepping stone towards the learning that standard algorithm for dividing. So we're going to begin here by estimating here. And the, the key thing, folks, if you're a teacher or a parent, um, when the the very fact that it says estimating means not every kid is going to get the exact same answer uh, depending on the level of um, precision that they are estimating. So we don't all have to agree on the same estimation as long as the estimation that each student makes makes sense. So let's uh, let's get started on this. So we have right here we have 3.53 so 353 uh, 3 and 53 hundredths divided by 51. And so one of the things I see, hmm, let's see, I might change this to 50, and I might change this right here. There's a couple of ways I could ch do it. I, I could change it to 350 and then hundredths. Uh, here's one way to do it. So I rounded down uh, from 353 to 350, and then I also changed it into unit form, so I, I'm calling it hundredths instead of 3.50. And then, of course, we still have division. And so now we've learned so that 350 divided by 50 can be thought of as 350 divided by, boy that's an ugly zero, divided by 10 divided by 5. So 350 divided by 10 is 35 and then 35 divided by 5 is 7. So our estimation is approximately 7. So let's do another one. So here we've got 24.2 divided by 42 so I can see that well I probably round 42 to 40 and then that 24.2, 2, I might change that to 240 tenths. And when I do that, I get 240 tenths divided by, and I'm going to change that to divide by 10, divide by 4. And so, um, oops, I need to change this to 7 hundredths because I, I dropped my label by accident. So this is really seven hundredths which could be written 0 0.07. Sorry about that folks. 0 0.07 in the, in the continuing theme of doing everything in one take. Okay so now let's go back to B. And so in B, so we change this to 240 tenths divided by 40. And then that's really 240 divided by 10 divided by 4. That's how we're going to think of it. Remember, this is 240 tenths. And that's where I goofed up in the earlier problem. And now we're going to divide uh, 240, 240 divided by 10 is 24 divided by 4. That gives us 6, and it's 6 tenths. And 6 tenths would be written 0 0.6. And then the last one, um, 9.13, or 9 and 13 hundredths. Oh boy, I might change that to just 9. And then let's call this, well, what we could do is call it, well, let's just leave it there. Divide by, and then we can change this to round that to 20. And you know, in this case, I might just leave it as this and say, okay, well, this is really 9 divided by 10 divided by 2. And so 9 divided by 10 is 0 0.9. And then 0 0.9, or 9 tenths, divided by 2 is 0 0.45. And there's our answer. Um, now, another way to think of this, I could have th thought of it like this. I could have changed it to 9 divided by 20, which could be thought of as 9 divided by 2 divided by 10. So do you see how I switched? 
I use the commutative property. And then, so here, 9 divided by 2 is 4.5, 4.5 divided by 10, and that is equal to 0.45, because the each value gets shifted one space to the right, which makes the decimal look like it's getting shifted one space to the left. And there's our estimation. All right, so remember, these are all estimations, and if students get a slightly different estimation based on a different way of rounding initially over here, that's okay. And then our last slide for this video is a word problem. It says, Carter drank 15.75 gallons of water, so 15 and 75 hundredths gallons of water in four weeks. He drank the same amount, so here, and then he drank the same amount of water each day. Estimate how many gallons he drank in one day. Well, we know that four weeks is equal to 28 days, so really we're gonna do 15, and I'm gonna zoom in here, and we're going to do 15.75 divided by 28. And so that's approximately, let's change this to 16 divided by, oh, what could we do? Uh, we could change this to uh, 30, let's say. All right. So 16 divided by 30. And because I want to, I'm estimating, and I know that 3 doesn't go into 16 nice and neat, so we can change our estimation. We can change that to a 15. Just changes the, the level of um, accuracy of our estimation, and that's perfectly fine. So we have 15 divided by 30. So think of that as 15 divided by 3 divided by 10. So that's going to be... 5 divided by 10, which is 0 0.5. So there's our estimation. And so to refresh our memory of what the question was in the first place, um, how many waters, uh, how many gallons did he drink in one day? About a half a gallon. So we should write that down. About. 0 0.5 gallons. Now estimate how many gallons he drank in one week. Well, this one, uh, if we had 15.75, um, and if we divide by four weeks, then I'm going to probably estimate that to be 16 divided by 4. And that gives me four. So it's about four gallons. And I'm going to put the about symbol here. About four gallons in a week. And then how many days altogether will it take him to drink 20 gallons? Well, we have a couple of ways we can solve this. We could say, well, if it was about four gallons in one week, then... We're going to need five weeks, one, two, three, four, five, because four gallons in this week, four gallons, four gallons, four gallons, four gallons, so that's about five weeks, which is 35 days. So that's one way we could think of it, because they're asking us how many days. Now, another way to think of it is um, if we know that we come up with an estimation of about a half a gallon per day. Another way to do it is how many halves are in 20 gallons? So another way would be if we want to do 20 gallons and it takes a half a gallon per day, half, 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 we're going to need about 40 days. So using one estimation, we get 35 days. Using another estimation, we get 40 days. And they're both perfectly fine. And that is Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 25, Approximating Decimal uh, Division Problems.